we talked about how to see your responses by changing to the Responses tab, and here you can see a quick overview of your data. But sometimes it's easier to view it in Google Sheets, which is where the data resides. That data is stored in Google Drive in a Google Sheet. So all I have to do is click to open that sheet, and now I can analyze the data any way I want. This was an adoption questionnaire, so we're not really going to use it in a way that's good for analysis. I just want to get the names of people that I can contact about adopting our pets. However, if you want to analyze a long list of data, the easiest way is to create a filter. I'm going to start by analyzing this column. How many hours per day are people gone? I want to find out how many of our potential adopters are gone for more than two hours a day. I'll select the entire column by clicking on the header and on the icon toolbar, I'll click the Create a Filter button. From here, I can click the three lines that appeared next to the heading. I can either select all of the data or clear all of the data. Now I can select what I want. I can select only one value or multiple values. In this case, the amount of people that are gone for more than two hours. I'll click OK, and here's my results. At any time, I can turn off this filter and see everything by clicking the button again. Let's go to another sheet I have. Here was a simple Google form that I created to collect pledges. It has a timestamp of when the pledge was made, the name of the person pledging, and the pledge amount. Over here, I have the total amount of pledges that we currently have. The great thing about Google Sheets is that I can create something called a gauge chart. So when I view the responses, all I have to do is look at this needle and watch it go up to know how my pledge drive is doing. A really great thing about Google Sheets is that I can click on these three dots on any chart and download it as an image or publish it to a website so that everybody can see our pledges go up in real time. Let's take a look at this worksheet. If I had our adopters address field separated into three individual fields, name, street, and state, I can take these state totals and find out how many adopters we have from every state. Once I have that information, I can create an interactive map chart in which I can hover my mouse over every state and quickly see how many adopters we have. Again, because this is a Google Sheet, I can publish this on our website so everybody can find out where in the United States our adopters are coming from. If this interests you, you can find out how to do both of these charts in complete detail in my course, Google Sheets Advanced Tips and Tricks. There's a chapter called Work with Charts, and the first two videos is how to do these exact charts in detail.